What's going on guys? So in this video we're going to be talking about some of the best going second decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! Now let's go ahead and get the elephant out of the room because I can already see people in the comments. Play Tenpai Dragons! Play Tenpai Dragons! Yes, Tenpai Dragons is a step above any deck we're going to talk about in this video, um, but for different reasons. Mainly because of this card right here, the Broken Field Spell. What? Why Konami? But anyways, I just wanted to address that before people in the comments were Oh, yeah, you should just play Tenpai. I don't want to talk about Tenpai. I mean, everybody already knows that. So, let's start with the list. Uh, number one on the list is Cyber Dragons. This deck's been around for a while. It's really good. It has uh, really interesting win conditions. So, you can use cards like Clockwork Knight, Summon a Cyber Dragon, Fuse Away the Whole Board. Uh, that's a really cool move. Um, and then, the other option is to summon out this guy. Uh, he gets really big. Um, and he can attack like three times, so you just poke, 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 and you just win like easily. It's almost easier than Cyber Dragons in some situations. Um, but yeah, Cyber Dragons is also a fairly budget deck. Um, there's only a few cards like in certain builds um, that you know you have to spend a little bit of extra money to to maximize the build. But overall, it's not that bad. Uh, the issue it has is going first, which all of these decks on this list are going to have a little bit of an issue going first, but out of all of them, I think uh, Cyber Dragons can go first fairly decent, because it does have Cyber Dragon Infinity and Omni Negate, which, uh, and also you can summon Regulus, but it's not always consistent. Next on the list is Earth Machines. This deck is really good at going second, it can get big bodies on the field, and just go in and OTK your opponent that way. Now, unfortunately, this deck takes a little bit of brain power. Um, there's tons of different lines, and every hand has to be played a little differently to be able to get to a good, you know, inboard to where you can go in for a game. It's not as simple as Cyber Dragons by any means, or even Tempai Dragons. Um, but yeah, Earth Machines is a really good option, um, and they're just cool, so why would you not want to play it? Um, that's really all I have to say about that one. Um, let's go to the next one. Number three on the list is Ancient Gear. And let me just start by saying, these aren't really in order. It's not like best to worst, so don't think that. But Ancient Gear is similar to Cyber Dragons, um, except it has some cards in it similar to Tempai Dragons that make our cards basically invincible. And the toolbox is a little bit deeper than that of Cyber Dragons and Earth Machines because the Ancient Gear monsters... Um, they all do different things, plus they just recently got new support. Um, it actually was in a feature match at the NAWCQ. So, this deck's pretty broken, and uh, much like all the other ones, the goal is to just make a big guy, go in, attack for a game. Pretty simple. Um, now, for number four on the list, we're going to talk about Invoked. Invoked is a deck that's been around for a while now, it's always been... A good deck. Um, now, one thing I like about this deck, as opposed to all the other ones, is it can play a ton of non-engine. Like, a ton of non-engine. Uh, but the issue with that is, sometimes you may not even draw one single starter, which you kind of need access to Alistair the Invoker. And that's going to be the weakness of this deck, but also one of the strengths. And in this current format we're in with a lot of fire monsters, this card right here is broken and can OTK on its own. So, yeah, um, I still think it's a really good option. And this deck actually topped a regional. I think it topped it during this ban list, if I'm not mistaken. It may have been the previous ban list. Um, but nonetheless, it's a good deck. All right, number five on the list is another deck that's fairly budget. And you probably already know about it. It is Blind Second Pearly. Uh, a lot of people typically use Pearly as a going first strategy because you make a big uh, towers monster that can't be beaten. But some people have figured out that going second with Pearly is a better option because of this card that can just OTK your opponent. Um, and you can also do stuff like with the Sprite Pearly builds where you do the Ninja Shadow Mosquito uh, OTK, which is also very effective. Um, but... Yeah, Pearly, I know a lot of people may not think about that one, but um, it can play a ton of non-engine, ton of board breakers, 
and people are probably not going to expect it as much. Um, plus, it has, um, like, you know, it, it doesn't really brick. I mean, it has tons of cards to get you to a starter, so you can't really consider that bricking. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's all of them. Uh, that's all five that I'm going to talk about right now. I think every one of these decks is really cool. I think, um, especially Cyber Dragons, I mean, that's been around forever since, like, GX. And Earth Machines technically is an Edison deck, kind of, because you still play some cards. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.